We have heard from so many of you concerned that someone is shooting at cars in Colorado roadways. We wanted to know what it looks like when a rock hits a car window versus a bullet. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger went to a shooting range in Penrose to find out. With the help of Penrose Auto Salvage and Cactus Flats Shooting Range, we tested what it's like when a rock hits a car window versus a bullet. Lee Reynolds, a firearms instructor at Paradise Sales in Colorado Springs, used a slingshot to simulate what a rock through a side window might look like. Right here, and as you can see, I barely put a nick in it. The first attempt just nicked the window. Bearing. We tried again on the same window, which was already compromised. Well, from what I've seen on the news, um, the hole is a lot smaller. It is uh, spider web just like this, but the hole is smaller versus the rock. So we've seen what a rock can do to a window. Now it's time to shoot the window. I'm going to shoot the back glass with a 22 long rifle pistol. And there's some obvious differences with a bullet hole. This is due to the speed. It's causing more pulverization of the glass. Yeah, this is more of what I've seen on the news. We tried again with a 9 millimeter. We wanted to compare this damage to what we saw on I-25 in Westminster yesterday when a truck's passenger window shattered, looking like this. At the end of our test, Lee was convinced the rock damage was too big and the guns he used too forceful. What I'm seeing is most likely this is being shot from a BB gun um, versus, say, a rock or road debris. So it's not inconceivable that someone could successfully shoot a car driving down the highway? No, it is not.